Hi everyone, this is Laura, and I just wanted to share a few things that I picked up today. I went to Michael's and Hobby Lobby and Target, and um, I will start with Michael's because it's really small. Um, so right now, all their Sizzix is 30% off, and I found this, and I've never seen this before, but... Um, I thought that was really cute so and I'm hoping that these are all separate so anyway I got that and it's called ribbon flags so um, I got that and then I got two more of these pink frames because um, they're super cute and every time I go in I'm just gonna grab two so that was from Michaels and then Hobby Lobby um, I just got a couple things from there, too. I got these um, snowflakes here. And these little Santa hats. And all these things are 50% off. These little Christmas trees. And then I got these two um, trims. And um, I, I hadn't seen this color before. It's like an aqua color and then a pink. So those were 50% off. And then the last thing I got there was, I was so excited to see this. This is the burlap trim, and it's super soft, and it has um, this rhinestone trim going down the middle of it. So um, I got two yards of it, and it was um, 16 bucks, but I used my 40 off coupon on this. So, um, anyway, it's really, really super pretty, you guys. So, that's what I got at Hobby Lobby. And then I went to Target, and it was mainly for my Filofax stuff. But it's really super cute stuff. So, I'll just quickly go through it and show you guys. Okay. So... I got a bunch of these. Thanks, Marissa, for showing your video. And, um, you know, there's a reason why you won Best Hauls. So thanks for the heads up on that. So um, I got these, and they only had five packages, and I got all five because, um, well, I'll show you guys in a few minutes what I'm going to do with them. But I needed more because these are really chunky and nice. And plus, they're really cute on the side with that wire kind of curling like that. And then they're already cream. So I got those. And then um, I got these buttons here. I thought they were cute. These little pink, like, flowery ones are cute. But it'd be cute to put the pink on top of the green. And then I got the cute little to-do um, sticky notepad. And a snowflake and another to do and then this um silver glitter tape and there's a lot on there so these are all things from the dollar spot um these little paper clips so um i'm going to be putting a lot of this stuff in my filofax and then um it's it's going to make it look more cute and then these um cute little page flags adorable and then these chalkboard tags. And then these little push pins that look like a little pink flag. I don't know if you guys can see that. Let me see if I can open it real quick. So that's what that looks like. It's baby pink. So that's pretty cute. And then the last thing I got there was this We Are Memory Keepers. And this is for Project Life, but this is just really cute um, when you're, you know, doing file effects too. So I just thought the colors were really pretty, and um, I'm going to put some of these in there. So I got this one, and this is the smaller one. And then I got this bigger one, and this is called Simply Happy. So, 
I love the font on that. And I love that one. I love this one. So these are just really super cute. So, um, okay, so that is what my haul was from Target. And then, let me move this, I want to show you guys something. Um, then, back in, gosh, I want to say September, um, I went down to Elisa's house so we could do a garage sale at her lo local scrap store. And her and I did really, really well. And I got um, a little over a $400 credit. So Elise was sweet enough to go shopping for me and because I can't do it online. So um, she um, picked out some things for me and sent them up. So the first thing is this here. And um, then I got this, which I've been wanting this forever and just never got around to buying it. So I finally got that. And then I got this Kaiser Craft Curiosity Pad. And um, it's really pretty. A lot of orange, though. I'm not super fond of orange, but I thought that it was a pretty pad for fall. I love that one. I love that bird with the crown on it. And I love that one too. Okay, so that is that one. And then, this is the exciting part. All these Copics here. So, um, that made the garage sale very, very worth it. Um, okay, so that's my hauls, and then I wanted to show you guys why I wanted some more of these. Now, these I got at Michael's over the summer, but, you know, they were really, they weren't very attractive. And so what I did to them was this, and um, I covered them with paper and um, glitter and flowers, leaves, doilies. And um, I just made like a whole little tray of them. I only bought eight at Michael's. And um, so this is what it looks like with a cute little doily. And these are um, just some leaves that I sprayed. And then I put the um, that chunky glitter on. And then this one here. And this is a leaf from Michael's in the like Christmas picks. And then this one in the aqua. I can't remember what paper lines these are, though. Um, actually, this one, though, is, um, I think, divine. Maybe. <laughs> um, and this one, I just kind of put a little bit of um, ink around it. And then this one here. And then this one a lot of um, stickles on the actual um, clothespin itself and then on the I put when you put the um, you dip these in the glue and then the um, glitter it they become really really stiff and thick so I like that and then this one here so that's why I wanted all those um, clothespins and then um, the other project I wanted to show you guys was this. I showed you guys um, a week or so ago the um, Brenda Walton uh, medallion die. And so I made some more in like um, a pale pink. And um, I just think these are so pretty. And this is using the authentic, um, it is, I can't remember the line, it's um, Valentine's paper. So, and here's another one that's like a double one. And then this one here, I love this one. And then just a little single one. And then there's a double one with um, two leaves. 
And then this one right here I thought was really pretty. I put a butterfly from um, Craft Supplies one that I painted on it. And then I put a little cherry, wait, what is that called? A sweetheart blossom, I think. And then um, this is a single one. So that are, that's the medallions I made. And then um, I made a couple cards too. Yeah, I've been really crafty this week. So um, I think it's because I was sick last week and I felt like I neglected my room. So um, this is a card I made for a friend of mine that really likes black and cream. And um, this is a Brenda Walton die too. And then this is a Tim Holtz die that I didn't use the bird on. So I just used the, um, the, what's that called? The, oh my gosh. <laughs> oh my gosh, you guys, this thing that the bird's sitting on, you know what I'm talking about. Um, and then I just put some little cherry blossoms on it. And then I made this little felt ro rolled, um, flower here with some Prima leaves and I stickled up the um, white leaf. And then this is a little um, stamp from Hobby Lobby and some of this pretty um, like metallic trim here. And then that's the inside. And then I made a couple of Christmas cards. I know it's kind of early, but I found this paper in my stash and it's old. But I just wanted to try it, so um, this is the first one right here, and um, okay, so I found this die, and this is what it looks like right here. It's a Sizzix, it's a Sizzix die. It's called Snowflake Number no. Two, and I don't even remember buying it, um, but. I went ahead and put it on chipboard and some of the North Country Prima paper and I glittered it all up and um, used the um, paper here and here and then this stamp right here okay so many of you girls last year after Christmas found these at Michael's so before you run out and buy new stamps, go look in your stash because they are brand new in your stash, never been used because you're waiting for, you know, this year. So um, this is the stamp it was right here and I stamped it out and I didn't really like that border. So I just went ahead and cut the border off. And so now I just have wishing you a sparkling holiday which is very fitting with all the glitter that is on there. So I thought that one turned out pretty, and that's just one of the um, medallions that I made in the coordinating colors. And then, <coughs> excuse me, this is the last one. And these aren't traditional Christmas colors, so they're it's kind of odd for me to look at, but, you know, I have this paper pack, and I thought maybe I would try it out, so... This one here is a Prima like velvety flower and Prima leaves that I dipped in that glitter. So that is my hauls and my project share. And I hope you guys have a great weekend. Bye. Oh, you know what? Let me just say something really quick too. Because I've been watching so many of your guys' videos and I didn't get to comment. It wasn't allowing me to. And it was wanting me to change my name. And I just um, wasn't wanting to do all that Google Plus um, stuff, but I kind of figured it out. I had to join the Google Plus or whatever, but I did get to keep my YouTube channel the way it was. And so now I'm getting to comment again, but I am watching everyone's video. So just wanted to let you guys know, and I will talk to you later. Bye.